this is the video now we're going to show you and share with you all the guitar custom tones that come with the Boss Evan JS8. So not only do you get over 300 backing tracks included in the Boss JS8, you get all these amazing guitar tones in every imaginable genre built into the Boss Evan. So you can sound like a pro and start recording yourself onto the Boss Evan and jam along with your favorite bands, artists, tracks, and any genre you want to by simply playing along with the Boss Evan. Right? Let's go ahead and show you what the Moss Key Band can do, right? So, see on the far left, it says blues category, right? And on the right are all the patches. So if we go into the patches, now these are all the guitar tone patches in the blues category. So I'm just gonna go down the list. So it's loaded right here. These are all the guitar tone patches under the blues category. So if you have backing tracks in the E-Band that are blues, it automatically pre-selects for that backing track the proper blues patch where you can jam along to and it's going to sound amazing. Vice versa, you can also say, I want my own guitar toe patch. Then you can go ahead and select your own guitar toe patch. But for every single backing track that's included in the Boss e Band, there is a predetermined patch designed specifically for that rock category. To yeah. show you more examples, Soul Funk. So if there's Soul Funk backing tracks, these there's going to be several songs that have uh, these guitar tones where you can uh, jam along to those Soul Funk guitar tone patches. So it's just loaded. Next category, we have Jazz uh, jazz Guitar Tones. These are all the guitars, uh, the guitar tones in the jazz category or genre. So there's lots to choose from here. And all these categories are also categories on the uh, backing tracks. So Liverpool, obviously that's going to be like 60s British pop, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Dave Clark Five, Herman's Hermits, the Monkees, all these bands from the 60s, rock, VO, crunch, that's going to be for the Vox amplifiers. And they get you know, creative with the names, Revolution Fuzz, obviously the Beatles, Revolution, that's going to make you sound like Revolution. Or um, Honky Tonk, that's obviously that's gonna make you sound close to the Rolling Stones' Honky Tonk Woman. Gently Weeps, that this guitar tone right here is patterned after uh, the Beatles while my guitar gently weeps. So they're trying to get around uh, some copyright trademark stuff here. Spy theme, that should probably be like James Bond ish type of theme. Day Trip, this guitar tone is gonna emulate Day Tripper. Next category we have 70s hard rock. These are all the guitar tones in the 70s hard rock genre. Again, any backing track that's 70s hard rock is going to predetermine a perfect guitar tone patch in this category for you to jam along with. Uh, next category, they have 80s heavy metal guitar tones. These are all the 80s heavy metal guitar tone patches that come with the Mossy Band. So you can basically plug and play and just start ripping and shredding. Again, the Boss e Band can hook up to external speakers, powered amp, uh, powered monitors, and you can sound incredibly loud with no distortion and just sound like a professional with the Boss e Band. These are all the guitar tones under modern metal right here. See? They're just loaded. These are already built in the e Band. No, uh, you don't have to do anything. All the work's already been done for you. So. With all the effects that the Boss GT10 had at the time in 2009, remember that was the Boss's flagship effects processor was the Boss GT10. Every single effect in the Boss GT10 is loaded in the Boss JS8. Conversely, when the JS10 came out, so did the brand new flagship Boss GT100 effects processor. That one uh, was like the number one effects processor when it came out, blowing everybody else away. And, and so the Boss JS10 had all the effects from the Boss GT100 and on and on, but they stopped making the Boss e -Man. So These are all the effects, or I'm sorry, these are all the guitar tone patches, uh, presets that come under the category of West Coast. See right there? And then we have Fuzz Rock. So anything with fuzz rock 
uh, Unit Vibe lead. These are all the, uh, all these toads are going to have like fuzz rock or type of fuzz in the, in the toad patch. Next category, Studio. So these are predetermined guitar tones that will sound very good in the studio. Smooth lead, classical studio, deep ambiance, nice uh, reverbs and some delays and so forth. These will make you sound really good plugging right in. You don't have to tweak anything. Pretty much these guitar tone patches are already set. So when you plug it in, you're going to sound like, wow, what are your effects? What pedals are you using? You're going to sound really good right out of the box. Now there's progressive category. These are all the guitar tones in the progressive category. Again, these are already built in. You can pick any tone you want to. You're going to sound amazing. I myself just like to tweak them and make them better. Right. These are all the guitar tones in the surf. So remember the 60s surf craze? These are all the tone patches that they created uh, that lend itself with the surf uh, genre. Next, we're going to have country. So all that country twang and chicken picking and all that stuff. These are all the perfect guitar tones for country. See all these? They're going to make you sound uh, like spaghetti western, country picking, all that stuff. Uh, you're going to sound really good with, this, uh, with these guitar tones. Next category is punk pop. So we got some grunge and some punk rock. Uh, we got some uh, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, all this stuff, grunge stuff. Here it is. See, what, what? look at that. Grunge spirit. Smells like teen spirit. So if you play this uh, patch, you'll, you get sound close to Nirvana or something similar, similar to that. Sedated punk. I want to be sedated. Now you got the Ramones. So this patch will make you jam along with the Ramones. You have some Ramones tracks. This will make you sound really good. Radiohead. See, Radio Creep, Radiohead. Green Punk, Green Day. So you just have to be uh, alert. Now, the beauty about the Boss E-Band, you can plug in a bass guitar onto the Boss E-Band. So let's say you're a bass player. They have these patches specifically made for you. You're going to sound great. You plug in your bass guitar into the E-Band, and these are already pre-selected uh, patches for you where you're going to sound really good playing the bass. And uh, you can do that also. And you can record yourself also. So you want to jam along with yourself. You can record your guitar tracks. Then come back, plug in the bass, and use any of these uh, bass patches. And there's some harsh stuff, some slap stuff, some clean stuff, some delayed stuff, some chorusy stuff. You're going to sound really good playing with the Boss uh, E-Band on the bass parameter. Next, we have the microphone. I believe this is the last of the categories. So the Boss E-Band JS-8 as well as the JS-10 allows you to plug in a microphone and you can basically have some nice ambiance in your settings. We have deep reverb, short echo, medium delay, long delay, short ambiance. And these are all the uh, tone patches for a microphone. And lastly, this is where you and I come in. When we start making our videos coming soon, any day now, we're going to fill up all these user patches. The Boss E-Band lets you create up to 100 custom guitar tones. The beauty about the Boss E-Band is once you fill up all the 100 custom guitar tones, you can back up the, um, the SD card in the back, back it up on the E-Band, eject that SD card, back it up onto your computer, right? So now you have your original SD card, set it aside. You already backed it up onto the computer for safekeeping. Plop in a brand new blank SD card in the back of the E-Band and you can now see exactly what's on the screen. Blank initial patches. These are all patches where it allows you to overwrite. So let's say I went in here, right? And you want to go inside the blues tone? Well, these are, are what's inside that bluesy crunch tone. There's the amp, overdrive effects, the EQ, the noise gate, delays, echo, reverbs, and on. So if you want to get into it, let's get into a guitar tone patch. All right. So next up, we're going to get into a guitar tone.